And as we close in on the upcoming school year, many parents are concerned about in-person classes when it comes to the health of their children. So we collected your questions about back to school and went right to the Kent County Health Department for those answers. 13 on your side's Shanna Grove found those answers out for you. Shanna, what did you learn? So much good, important information here, James. So to help us better understand and prepare, we spoke with Director Dr. Adam London, and here are his answers to some of the top questions. If a child tests positive for COVID-19, is the entire family required to get tested? The answer here is no, the family is not required to get tested, but Dr. London says they can get free tests at the health department or one of its sites. Another common question is, do you have to report a positive test result to the health department? Dr. London says no because testing organizations and providers already do that. HIPAA does apply here so any personal identifying information will be protected and we also asked Dr. London about a recent study in the Journal of the American Medical Association Pediatrics. It found kids younger than five have high amounts of the virus in their upper respiratory tract and may be super spreaders. And this recent study seems to suggest the children, while not suffering from symptoms uh, at the same rate, may be carrying more of the virus. And because they tend to uh, touch more surfaces and not practice the same, uh, the same discipline with, with hygiene as others, could be spreading it at a very effective rate to other people who are more vulnerable. Dr. Lennon also says there will likely be an increase in cases in the fall. He attributes that to school in part, but also to colder weather when viruses spread more. He also acknowledged the importance of in-person learning, but also the costs that are associated with virtual and in-class education. James. Thank you, Shadow.